love looking around the room and seeing all the girls of color that are doing robotics or game design. That's not something you see every day. What's the middle piece We need like? something to put it right there. And so that makes me feel happy. Then do negative, negative. My intention for creating Black Girls Code is to change the face of technology. As a young girl, Kimberly Bryant's mother told her she would find her future by excelling in school. I grew up in a place of Memphis called North Memphis, which, you know, is really a blighted area now. So there are not too many kids that really kind of make it out. There were not a lot of role models around that we can kind of model our careers after, our futures after. Kimberly's teachers recognized her talent for math and science. She earned a scholarship to the prestigious Vanderbilt University School of Engineering. I was always the only black woman in most of my classes, and especially as I you know, got older as a student in, in, in electrical engineering, I was only woman in, even in some of those classes. Throughout her career, Kimberly was hired by Fortune 500 companies. She says she felt alone during her rise up the corporate ladder. One of the first experiences I had with being a double minority was being introduced to the rest of the staff and my team by my manager and him saying, well, you know, for Kimberly coming on, we, we got a twofer. Um, she's a woman and she's a person of color. And that was my intro. And I was, you know, can imagine, you know, how I felt as a new engineer and being introduced to my peers, you know, as a twofer. For 25 years, Kimberly shrugged off those painful moments. But when her daughter, Kai, expressed interest in following in her mother's footsteps, Kimberly felt the emotional weight of the barriers she had faced. When she was 11, she attended a summer camp in technology and game design. And so as I looked around, it just kind of hit me that, oh my gosh, there are not too many girls in here. And that, you know, she was the only student color at all, boy or girl. And then afterwards, she kind of opened up to me and said that, yeah, mom, sometimes the instructors wouldn't pay as much attention to the girls as they did the boys. And that's when my heart sunk a little bit. African-American women make up only 2% of the country's science and engineering workforce. Kimberly worried about a road paved with challenges for her little girl. As a career woman in a male-dominated industry, you know, had lots of bumps. You know. um, I think seeing that my daughter may be going down that path, it, you know, brought up out that mama bear instinct in me. Like, I really didn't want her to go experience some of the things that I did. Because I knew that I had, you know, seen this like light, you know, in her eyes about all that she learned, but I didn't want it to be put out prematurely because she didn't get the type of nurturing that she needed. And that was really a turning point for me. Kimberly was determined to give her daughter and other girls support in their dreams. She created Black Girls Code, the first organization of its kind. Our focus is teaching girls from underrepresented communities about computer programming and technology. Because it's all about working on something that you're passionate about. I love Black Girls Code because it teaches me how to be an innovator and a problem solver. Black Girls Code has taught me how to be a better leader. I feel like I can just grow up and pretty much be anything I would like to be. When Kimberly's mission hit the internet, Black Girls Code became a viral sensation, which helped launch seven chapters across the United States and in Johannesburg, South Africa. Because of Kimberly's pioneering vision, 3,000 young women are on their way to change the face of technology. I'm really proud of my mom. I'm so proud of her that when I grow older, I really, really hope to make as much impact yeah. on the world as she does. I'm extremely grateful that she's um, involved in groups like this. Sorry, that um, empower young girls.
They're giving them opportunities that would not normally be presented to them. We have parents come in and we're giving them these tools to help their daughters. Oh, and <laughs> a lot of the times they stand up and they thank us, you know, for coming to their community because lots of times no one does. And they're adamant, you know, about doing the best they can to provide a different path for their daughters than they have. I just feel so sure that these girls are going to do great things in the future and they're going to be able to say, well, I went to this program when I was a kid called Black Girls Code and that's why I became the next astrophysicist or the next astronaut or the next founder or CEO of Microsoft.